Hello on Thursday the 26th of November and today's the day we've all been waiting for to find out which tier we will be in after next Tuesday. But I'm going to start with the diocesan prayer for these times. Keep us good Lord under the shadow of your mercy in these times of uncertainty and distress. Continue to sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Today's readings are from Isaiah 41 verses 8 to 13 and Psalm 125. Over the weeks I've touched on some of the programmes I hear on my car radio when travelling around to meetings and other visits. Another of these programmes which I used to regularly hear is in the psychiatrist chair. I don't think it's running at present. In it, well-known people were interviewed by a medical professional about their feelings, emotions and behaviour. In some ways, it's not a very British programme. We are far less likely to talk about this sort of issue compared with the Americans, who all seem to have a personal therapist. But this doesn't mean that the British don't have fears and anxieties. At present, we are possibly expressing these more than we normally do. There is great anxiety about a virus which we can't see and therefore have no idea where it is. Then there's the knock-on impact of the virus relating to people's income and job security, the payment of bills, restricted activity and loneliness. We can identify the cause of this anxiety, but there are more general anxieties which are hidden further down, linked to issues such as, am I valued or do others like me? These concerns start to surface at an early age. Think back to your school days and maybe going home upset because someone wouldn't be your friend or let you join their group or when your boyfriend or girlfriend began to be more interested in someone else. And God knows all about these insecurities. And in today's passage from Isaiah, he's speaking into them with words of reassurance. In Isaiah, there are particular circumstances in Israel's history which are being addressed. But as with all prophecy, it also speaks into the future and God is speaking words of reassurance to us now and for any situation. And that reassurance is summed up in these words. Do not fear, God is with you. He will strengthen you and help you. So whatever anxieties you are feeling at the moment, or maybe even anxieties which have yet to surface, also be assured of those words of God. I now come to our next prayer. Merciful God, we thank you that through your love shown in Jesus that we can have perfect peace and freedom. We offer to you our fears which have not been taken away by your true love. May we accept the hope 
which you have placed in the hearts of all people, in Jesus' name. Amen. And the psalmist wrote, The Lord is my light and my strength. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. And for our prayer points, let's give thanks for our support networks. Let's pray for people who are feeling anxious. And let's pray for anyone we know who is ill. And we now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The diocese has produced a booklet of reading for Advent, and it's called a child shall lead them. I'll try to get these booklets out to as many of you as possible by Advent Sunday. We now come to our final blessing. The Lord shield and protect you. The Lord look upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord fill you with joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all today and evermore. Amen.